Greetings, this is Charles Darwin, and I'm here to talk to you today about hagfishes. If you've never heard of hagfishes, you don't have any idea how disgusting an animal can be. Well, let me tell you about them. They're primitive fishes, they don't have jaws, but they do have teeth, and I'm going to tell you what they use them for. Their bodies are kind of long and skinny, and their skin exudes copious amounts of mucus and slime. What do they use that mucus and slime for? Well, let me tell you. They use it for lubrication. Why do they need lubrication? I have to tell you how they make their living. They have the whole blue sea in front of them. They can have anything they wanted. What do they look for? Why, what would you look for? An anus, of course. But not just any anus. It has to be an anus that's big enough for them to slip into. Hence, the lubrication. The anus is just the right size as that of a whale. Now, not a healthy whale, because a healthy whale could just swim away, but a dead whale or a dying whale. And so here's this dying whale that has lived its magnificent life in the sea. And it's floating there, and it says, At least I can die in dignity. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! It's a hagfish! Oh God! What have I done to deserve this? The point that I'm trying to make is simply that natural selection can lead to adaptations that might seem disgusting to us, might seem beautiful to us. It doesn't really matter so long as it works. Now, you might have a hard time trying to explain from the viewpoint of creation why God would have created hagfishes. But with natural selection, there's no difficulty in explaining it at all. It's just one of those adaptations that worked. They can be beautiful, they can be disgusting. As long as they work, that's what natural selection has given to us. This is Charles Darwin. Tally ho and amen.